talk about appraisals now. So there's like three or four checklist items regarding appraisals. So you've completed the inspection contingency. Now the appraisal can be ordered and it can happen. So the appraisal is paid for by the buyer. Uh, the appraisal is ordered by the lender. The lender will submit a request for an appraisal to a middleman called an appraisal management company, an AMC. So you wanna be mindful of that. After you're through the inspection, you might, may wanna to touch base with the buyer's lender and let them know, hey, we're through the inspection contingency. When do you think you're gonna order the appraisal? Again, leadership, you're relentless. You're keeping the ball going down the court. Hey lender, here's where we're at. Let's take the next step. Let's keep moving towards closing. We wanna hit that closing date. We wanna get our people moving on to the next chapter of life. So you're gonna ask, when is the appraisal scheduled? When do, you, when do you plan on ordering the appraisal? Again, they submit that order to the AMC and then the AMC reaches out to an appraiser and assigns that property to them to go do the appraisal. Once the appraiser has that request to appraise, he then either contacts the listing agent or the buyer's agent. It's kind of unknown. He tends to select, he or she will pick the agent maybe they're most familiar with. Um, anyway, they're gonna call that agent and they're gonna schedule the appointment for the appraisal. Now, best practice I would suggest is reach out to that listing agent and just say, hey, we're through the inspection. I talked to the lender, the appraisal's been ordered. I would love to open the house for the appraiser. Let me take that off your plate. Um, if he reaches out to you, he or she reaches out to you to schedule the appraisal, can you just redirect them to me and I'll go handle that for you. And then what you can do is you can pre prepare comparables. Get some comps put together that you think justify the value of the home, have those printed out ready to go. I like to have maybe three to six good comps. And then when the appraiser, appraiser calls, yes, I'd love to meet you there. Set a time and a date, same thing. You gotta call the phone to show. You gotta call that seller and say, hey, I'm the buyer's agent. I'm calling to schedule the appraisal appointment. It'll take about 20 to 30 minutes. They do need to get inside the house. They're gonna take some photos, measure bedrooms, measure, measure the rooms in the house, count the number of bedrooms, that kind of thing. So you schedule that with the seller, meet the appraiser there with comps in hand. And then when the appraiser's there, again, you're professional, you're courteous, you're early, the house is ready to go, and you share with them anything that might be pertinent to an appraiser. This is how many days we were on the market. Here's how many offers we received. Here's how we're at, we, we offered above list price, or we're at list price, or we're a little bit below list price. Any, any information that would be helpful to that appraiser. Let them in the house, they do their thing, and then they're on their way. So um, you're just adding value, building rapport, being professional, okay? So that is how you handle these next appraisal checklists. One last thing, one last thing. You wanna send your client a copy of the appraisal guide. It's in our Google Drive, search for appraisal, and you'll find a document called an appraisal guide. Send that off to your client so they can understand what's happening in the appraisal process. It's a great article of how the whole process works, and again, it's adding value to your client. All right, good luck, and I hope you come in above appraised value.